what up fam welcome back to the channel hope everybody's doing well so from the intro you see me drilling a hole right here i used a 21 millimeter hole saw to drill a nice evenly spaced hole for a switch and you're wondering well why i need a switch at the end of the last video i actually said i wanted to install a custom switch for these car door this car door warning light switch that i just put on here because i figured it's cool obviously for safety reasons obviously you open your door somebody won't hit you let's say you break down on the side of the road and, you know at night or something like that and it's good for safety but you go to a show it's actually e just equally as good because it's nice it's flashy but guess what let's say you got your door open for an extended period of time after a while that could possibly get annoying so what i wanted to do was install a custom switch so i can just control that but leave my custom door sill still running and that's what i want to show you today so it's a really really short vid so this is how it's gonna go <clears throat> so i got ahead of myself i cut the wire because i wanted to see if it was gonna work so what i'm gonna do is this is how the switch is right here there are three prongs on this switch i have a bunch of them and i'll put it in the description so this shiny piece right here usually that's for the negative then you have like an input and an output and an output terminal so we're not going to be using this gold terminal right now because usually that's just for the negative but instead i have two negatives here so we're going to be using them for the input and output because remember how this switch is run this switch is run here by this plunger so what i'm going to do is when you cut the ground wire one piece of the wire is going to go to this terminal and then another piece is going to go to this terminal right here the middle terminal and i have some spade connectors let me, see, let me show you I have some spade connectors extra wire that we're going to be using to it's a connector just like this. This is a spade connector. So this will just get pushed into, and it literally looks like a spade. So it gets pushed into the terminal and the wire goes in here <clears throat> and that's it. So now what I'm gonna have to do is I will also have to cut the wire on the other side and run two long strips of wire to this side. So two wires are gonna get joined up into one and connect to the first terminal. And then two wires are going to get joined up and connect to the second terminal right here because I want to control both doors on one switch and it can be done. All right, peeps. So what I did was I rejoined the cut wire. So right now the strip is actually working on the door. So what I was trying to tell you before, once I slice this wire in two, there's a part of the ground that's running to the strip on the door. And then there's this part right here. Watch, I'm gonna show you. So there's this half. This half that's running to the strip on the door. And then there's this half that's running to the actual door plunger itself. And so now this is how it's gonna work. So I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side, okay? Now, since I have, I don't have a lot of black wire left, I'm gonna use green instead because I've never used the green, so I'm gonna use green. So what's gonna happen is I'm gonna cut the wire just like I did on the other side. And then the portion off the ground wire that's running to the actual strip, I'm gonna connect the green wire to it, bring it over on this side, join it to this, and attach it to the terminal to one of the terminals on the actual switch you get what i'm saying and then the other half that runs to the plunger on the passenger side i'm going to bring it over attach it to this one and connect it to the other terminal on the switch and both of them will be able to work with one switch and that's pretty much it so here we go
All right, so hopefully y'all follow me so far. So as I said, I used the green wire because I've never used that wire, for, I think, for any of my projects, so I had a lot of it to spare. So this really, really long one, this is the one I connected on the passenger side going to, to the ground, going to the plunger. And the shorter one is the one I connected going to the actual strip. So this one here, the short one, and this one right here, these two that are going to the strips, they're gonna be attached together and they're gonna be connected to one of the terminals on the switch. And then this long one right here and this one right here, they're both are gonna be connected to one terminal on the switch. Get it? guys so this is it connected right here I didn't put it in the hole yet so I'm gonna show you on the reflection on the truck real quick since I'm, I'm on this side and I'll, then I'll show you the door so once I flick the switch click there you go see it BAM that's the courtesy light on the bottom right there yup it's working you turn it off so now the switch can be on all the time but let's say so now you're at a show or something like that just turn it off when you don't need it but it'll be on all the time just turn it off when you don't need it let me button everything back up sorry right, fam in closing everything is put back together now once i open the door works as normal business as usual Got that nice courtesy light. The only thing is, that courtesy light totally blocks out my <laughs> Hulk emblem on the floor. So that's another reason why you might want to install a custom switch. So now, they're both working. But by, by the way guys, definitely like, subscribe. Tell me what you think. Now once I hit the switch, Watch right here. Bam. It's off. So now I have control of that switch without even messing with my door sill. And I can even install a custom switch for the door sill as well, so it doesn't even matter. So once you can, you could do anything you want pretty much. So now, just cut power, turn it back on, which it'll stay on all the time unless I really want it off. And there you go. All right, guys, it was a pleasure having you with me again, and I'll talk to you all soon. Take care of yourselves and your family. Peace.